Hello and welcome. Today, we are going to be continuing with Legend X Games, So In Love. I don't know how long I have to go in this. I accidentally made a two hour video last time. <laughs> um, when we left off, Nova was caught in the rain. And now, we are going to continue from there. So, let's go. I don't account for the rainstorm. It's a heavy downpour. Raindrops pelt the leather jacket I'm wearing above my head. I'm dry for now, but it's a poor substitute for an umbrella. The cold air and stray droplets make me shiver. I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. Thankfully, I've already purchased a few bag of chips, some cookies, and of course my favorite, sour gummy worms. All I have to do now is get back to the inn in one piece. But as thunder clashes about, I'm frozen in place. The wind picks up a bit and worry washes over me. I hold up my phone to my ear and call my brother. Or at least I try to. My soul signal is really weak. I curse under my breath and head under an awning where I have a little more safety to fumble around with my phone. Nova. <laughs> Surprise and money. Hey, Nova, what are you doing out here? I look up and see Amani. Completely dry under her oversized black and white panda bear umbrella. Me, on the other hand, I must look completely frazzled. I hold the bag of snacks up to the girl. I wanted to get something for Angeli's board game night. Are you coming to that? That's what you're worried about right now? Not the rain? Totally. Uh, yes? I'm really excited for it. Don't worry. I'll be there. As for the rain, are you on your way back to the inn? Yes, but I was going to wait for the rain to slow down a bit. It's not a bad idea. Amani comes under the awning with me and closes her umbrella. She taps the ground next to her as the excess water droplets fall to the ground. So why are you out here? Cute. There's a cute little cafe not far from here, so I wanted to stop there and eat before coming back to the inn. She holds, up, she holds a finger up before reaching into her white pleather purse for a small rectangular box. They have these mini cupcakes. You have to try them. She pops the cardboard box open and offers it to me. I peer inside and see three vibrant yellow and green cupcakes. Should I take one? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, you do. You should definitely take one. <laughs> well, they do look delicious. Amani's face lights up. She thrusts the box towards me again. Exactly. Pick one. I reach for the one in the middle and try not to get any frosting on my fingertips. Amani takes the one to the right and holds it up to her lips. On the count of three? Oh, wait. She holds her elbow out to me, and it takes me a moment to realize what she wants to do. I, inter I interwine my arm with hers. Interwine? Entwine? Interwine? I don't know. <laughs> Words. Both of us holding up, both of us holding the cupcakes to our lips. Amani begins the countdown. Three, two, one. We each take a bite into our cupcakes and honestly, I'm a bit surprised. This cupcake is top tier. Chocolate with lime frosting? A weird combination, but I like it a lot. <laughs> so yum. <laughs> Amani's mouth is full of cake as she says this. I can't help but giggle. Mine also stuffed. We finish up our cupcakes and Amani stares out into the rain. It's slowing down, but it's 
still pelting the ground. Kind of glad I ran into you, to be honest. R really? I'm shocked by Amani's admission. I tilt my head to the side to make sure that what I'm hearing is genuine. Her smile isn't malicious, and I feel at ease. Yeah. After the conversation we had at lunch today, I felt optimistic, but still a bit apprehensive. I'm willing to try and rekindle some sort of relationship with Brooke, but she bites her lip. Uh... It won't be easy to get back to the way things used to be. We were best friends. I know you're wondering what this has to do with you, but it relates, I promise. I wait patiently for her to respond, my thoughts racing. All of them ecstatic to be a, a person of interest to a money of all people. I've grown to really like her. I know you said you were here to support us both, but you came to Riverstone with Brooke. I thought that maybe you were mending the relationship for her sake. And I know you said you were pushing for us all to be friends as a group, but still. There's always that voice in the back of my head telling me that I'm wrong. That you couldn't possibly like me. What? What? No. I enjoy spending time with you. This is sort of a dream come true. I know I'm blushing as I say this, and I hope the pounding of the rain drowns out my rapidly beating heart. What do you mean? You know, my brother is the one who always gets to have the adventures. Last summer he met Brooke and his boyfriend, and they had an exciting summer adventure. I kind of always wanted a slice of that for myself. New friends and amazing memories. Oh, uh, it's, it's kind of embarrassing to say. You've come this far, might as well spit it out. <laughs> You're right. I push some of my wet hair behind my ears and look up at Amani. She's smiling and encouraging at me, and my heart begins to soar. This right here is what I've always wanted. I'm part of a dance team back at home, and I also go to college. I'm surrounded by people all the time, and yet, I sometimes feel alone. I care about my friends so much, but I don't have someone I feel like I connect with as much as I do with you. That's not embarrassing at all. Of course it is. You don't have to be nice about it. We haven't even known each other for that long, and I'm acting like you're this magical person, and it's weird, I know. What was that? I can feel my tears welling up in my eyes, letting out the emotions I've hidden, even from my brother. He was always the mild-mannered but fun-loving guy that everyone wanted to be around. I lived in his shadow for a long time. And when I finally stepped out to do my own things as a dancer, I felt the shadows of others being cast upon me as well. Talking to Amani makes me feel free. I like spending time with her, though I'm sure my admission is going to scare her away. Guess I'm weird then. Huh? I was thinking that I felt the exact same way. People love talking to me because they Think what I do is exciting, but it's not the real me they're getting to know. You bring the real Amani out of me. I feel comfortable talking to you. She shrugs, and I wipe the tears that are building up my eyes. I had no idea she felt so similarly. Uh, why can't I say that word? Similarly. Similarly? The more I say it, the more... It sounds wrong. <laughs> similarly. And then I'm in the mini. English. I'm fluent. It makes me feel assured. I guess that makes us two weirdos then. Two weirdos then. Amani offers her arm out to me. I notice that the rain has slowed down considerably. Will you walk home with me, weirdo? I link arms with her. Of course, weirdo. The two of us share a laugh and begin. The walk back to the red turd on that gin. I feel better knowing that Armani and I feel similarly to each other. I keep imagining 
what next week as her model would be like as the two of us walk in silence. The day of Anjali's board game night arrives rather quickly. Things seem to be going by rather quickly now that the tension between Amani and Brooke has significantly dissolved. Tightly, I hold the paper bag with snacks that I brought the other night. I hope that Anjali understands how grateful I am that she's been such a lovely host. She could have easily been a regular concierge, manning the front desk until her shift is over. But instead, Anjali made me, Cairo, and Brooke feel special. She even took the time to talk to me about Amani and Brooke when I was having issues. Speaking of Brooke, she and Cairo are already in the gazebo where the event is being held. I sort of had to run back to get the snacks I braved a storm to buy. I shut my eyes and try to recall Anjali's directions and begin to maneuver my way through the Red Turtleneck Inn. Finding the place takes only a few moments as the inn really isn't that big. I'm taken aback by the building. I was expecting us to be sitting out in the open, but this gazebo is fully covered. I'm impressed by the prospects of an indoor gazebo and even more so by how comfy it feels to be inside it. There are blankets scattered around the wooden floors, pillows propped up as makeshift chairs, and a projector light that faintly casts a galaxy onto the ceiling. Oh, I love those. I really want one, but I haven't really looked into sites that sell them that aren't like wish scams. <laughs> wish. <laughs> they sell such cool looking stuff and none of it's real. I catch sight of Anjali talking to some guests I haven't seen before near the refreshment table. I approach them and begin to set out the snacks I bought. Nova, you didn't have to bring anything. Anjali catches sight of me almost instantly. I simply shrug and smile she smile super shrug. Suddenly I'm Sean Connery. Oh, that's sad. I simply shrug and smile sheep there's too many see there's too many S's in there. Simply shrug and smile sheepishly. Simply shrug and smile sheepishly. I simply shrug and smile sheepishly at her. I wanted to. As a thank you for being so hospitable. I appreciate it immensely. She goes back to talking to the other guests, but I'm not uh but not before pointing out Brooke and my brother, who were sitting wrapped up in a red and blue plaid blanket. Next to them is Amani. She and Brooke are reading a pamphlet while Cairo sips something, probably coffee, from his mug. I approach them with light steps and plop down on the side of the on the other side of the trio. Look who finally made it. You act like I was more than ten minutes. Aww. Ten minutes too long. Guess who picked the game? Kairi motions to the to the two girls with his head, and I can't help but laugh. The Monopoly board is set up on the floor with paper money scattered about. <laughs> Monopoly is the worst! <laughs> I hate it so much. Cluedo. Cluedo's where it's out for board games. I love Cluedo. It's one of the few board games we can get almost the whole family to play. Mainly my mother and I who like board games though. Let's scrabble. Most of the family loves scrabble. <laughs> you need two five hundred dollar bills, two one hundred dollar bills, and two fifties. What about twenties and fives? Six twenties, five tens, five fives, five ones. Huh? Slow down! I lean over and start counting the money out. I'll be the banker. Oh, thank goodness. I can't handle this. I can't with this. Amani drops the pamphlet, which reads instructions across the front onto my lap. Okay, Brooke, you're in charge of giving out the properties. Amani, you can sort the houses and hotels and Cairo. My eyes fell onto my brother. Cairo. Get me some coffee. He rolls his eyes and takes another sip from his mug. What's in it for me? I'll be on your team for the game. Oh my gosh! Wait, we're doing teams? Oh, that would be so cute! <laughs> <laughs> yep. And me and Cairo are unbeatable. 
Yes. I glance at Cairo and see him shake his head. His long hair hitting his cheeks. My brother absolutely hates Monopoly. But we always team up in other games because, well, we have a ways of communicating without saying things out loud. I don't imagine a Monopoly will be any different. That's so cute though. Sibling team. Yes. Well, me and Amani are going to win. Amani is sitting next to Brooke looking a bit nervous. Either she's scared of me and Cairo pairing up, or her partner being the girl she recently just made up with. Care to make it more interesting? I lean forward with a smirk on my face. Maybe a little incentive will keep Cairo entertained and the girls from fighting. Always. What did you have in mind? Loser has to post something embarrassing on their social media written by the other team. Money's eyes grow wide for a moment and she shakes her head fervently. No. My social media is my brand. The losing team has to approve the message before it gets posted. How's that? Better, at least. <laughs> we won't have to deal with it anyway, Money. We're gonna win! You probably will. What? What? Kyra, shut up! No, they won't! You're supposed to trash talk them! Right. I mean to say that you guys should be scared because our father was the National Monopoly Championship champion in 1967. Was your dad even born in 1967? Brooke. <laughs> Brooke. That's neither here nor there, Brooke. We're trash talking. <laughs> I love Cairo so much. <laughs> oh, it makes you want to we play Marisol May. Liam. I love him. I love them. Oh. I begin to hand out all the necessary pieces to start the game. Cairo and I decide on the battleship piece while the girls pick the top hat. I think... Is there a dog? I think I usually... Oh uh, god, what did I go with? It's been that long since I played Monopoly. Play is slow at first. But the girls seem to have better luck with the dice rolls. They land on property after property and they buy them all. Meanwhile, Cairo and I are stuck with the cheaper properties at the beginning of the board. This goes on for at least an hour and a half until Anjali shuffles towards us. She kneels down on the ground by us and smiles. How's the game going? Cairo yawns and stretches his arms over his head. Oh, I love Betty's voice acting so much. He's so good. I'm ready for it to be over, to be honest. We're just getting started. Brooke, you picked the longest game in the history of the world. Let's end it here and give the crowns to the winners. Us. What? No way. Just because you have more properties doesn't mean anything. We have tons of money still. There's an easy way to settle this. Yes, please help us. <laughs> yes, please help us. <laughs> oh, Cairo, I love you. I really love his hair tied back too. I love ponytails, but like he's just his hair is so good. He just looks so good in this. Who dressed him? Was it Liam? Was it Liam that dressed him? I'm pretty sure I've said that already in the last part, but damn, he looks good. Who purchased Boardwalk? It's still available. Do both teams have enough to purchase it? The girls look up at Anjali sheepishly. The downfall of owning all the properties is that they have no money left. Looks like only we do. Okay then, Nova's team wins. Easy. <laughs> now, come join us in the centre for some charades. Kairo hops up with much more enthusiasm than he's had during the whole entire game of Monopoly. Brooke is just as excited and the two of them follow Anjali to the centre. Amani, on the other hand, looks like she's going to be sick. And I think it's because of the idea of me posting something to her social media account. What should I tell her? A bet is a bet. I won't post on your page. Hmm. <sighs> 
a bet is a bet. She'd probably post. I mean, she'd probably post something cute. But, uh, um, she looks so nervous. So, I won't post on your page. The girl looks like she's about to vomit. I can't do this to her. Here, take your phone back. I can't post on your page. Huh? Why not? You won. I'm okay with it. Imani? Are you really? You look like you might hurl right here. Uh... uh um... That's not it at all. Anjali said something that reminded me about my father. That's all. She tries to look away from me and instead settles her gaze on the blanket wrapped around her legs. She pulls up her legs to her chest and hugs them tightly. Do you want to talk about it? Imani shakes her head. She isn't ready to open up yet, is she? After a moment, Imani shakes her head again, this time smiling at me. Actually, yeah. I would like to talk about it, if you don't mind listening. I scooch closer so that I'm sitting beside her and I place my hand on her shoulder. I offered, didn't I? Amani nods and looks up at me. I don't want you to feel obligated to fix all my problems. First, my relationship with Brooke, then you offered to be my model for the cosplay competition, and now this. I'm not fixing anything. I'm just being your friend. Amani's eyes look full of discontent despite her smile. I want to wrap my arms around her and so she knows someone is here for her, but I hesitate. Guess I forgot what it was like to have one of those. Do you know why I was really so mad about the book thing? I... I trusted her and I felt like she betrayed me. Just like your dad? Exactly like my dad. He told me he did everything for me and my mother, but really all he did was ruin our family name. I fought so hard to get myself my own reputation not tainted by his mistakes. And you thought that Brooke was trying to take that away from you? I haven't told her that. Even though we were good friends, I was scared to tell her about what my father did. But I want to be honest with you because, well... I really like you, Nova. A light pink dusts her cheeks. I drape my arm around her shoulder and she cuddles into me. I really like you too. Good. Amani pauses for a moment before speaking again. I'm sorry I'm all upset, but when Anjali mentioned the boardwalk, I was reminded of how I used to play Monopoly with my father and he made sure to always purchase that property because it was worth the most. Then, I started thinking about everything spiralling after that and I can't be that person anymore. I can't let him stop me from living out my dreams and making friends. Today was fun. Brooke and I didn't even fight once. <laughs> I giggle lightly. I'm proud of you two. I really do like her. It's... I've always just been afraid. I'm going to work on that though, and it's all because you've given me the strength to. In this very moment, sitting with my arm around Amani, I'm content. She confided her feelings to me and has given me a huge compliment. She trusts me enough to give her strength. I'm going to be the best friend I can to Amani. She doesn't wait for my response and instead pulls away from me. Amani stands up and extends her hand to me. I take it and she pulls me upwards. Let's go play charades with the others. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. I nod my head and follow after Amani. We settle down next to Brooke and Cairo, enjoying the rest of our night together. Nova. Stand still, Nova. I nod my head and then suddenly stop. I let my arms fall to my side and Try my best not to move. That's not what I meant. Loosen up. 
I only want to take your measurements. A few days have passed since Anjali's board night, board game night. Today I find myself in the Riverstone Community Centre with Amani. For the rest of the week I'll be by her side as she crafts a cosplay for me to wear at the championships. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. This is different from anything I've done before. It's just me and you here. You have nothing to worry about. Unless, of course, you doubt me? Oh, no, definitely not. I know you'll create something amazing for me to wear. Then what is it? I have to model your costume. Yes, I thought that was the plan all along. Y yes, but listen, I have to model. Like, what if people think your costume is bad because I'm not doing it justice? That's ridiculous. You're a cutie. I can't imagine you looking bad in a costume I have planned for you. Imani uses my bumbling distraction to her advantage and holds a measuring tape around my waist securely. Ha. This will be a cinch to get done in the time frame. I'm confident. Glad one of us is. You're in a dance team, right? You can't tell me you're afraid of people watching you. When I'm dancing, I don't think about the people watching. I rely on my team and I focus on the music. So we're basically doing the exact same thing. Except I'm your teammate this time around. Rely on me and feel confident in the outfit you're wearing. I promise I won't let you drown. We're doing this together. Nova. A happiness I've never felt before rushes through my body. I'm going to do the best that I can for Amani. But it would help if you knew how to swim. So, let's prepare. Amani holds her hands up in the air and then jogs over to the other side of the room. When she's far enough, she calls out to me. Walk to me. Hmm? Hmm? Take a walk towards me. Make sure your back is straight, your head is held high, and you're smiling. Oh, Amani is teaching me how to prop how to be a proper model. It's kind of embarrassing to be honest, but I'm going to give up my all. Amani and I practice walking, smiling, and posing for what feels like hours, but it's actually only 45 minutes. Is it lunchtime? I clap my hands together enthusiastically. For you, yes, I'm going to start cutting the fabric for your costume. No, you need a break. I can't take a break. I said it would be easy to get your costume done in the time limit, but I meant if I work a little overtime on it. I want it to be perfect. I'm up against Brooke and her outfits are always very precise. Plus, the other contenders... You're a team. I won't <laughs> let you drown. So, tell me what I need to do. She raises a brow, but I can see the smile spread across her face. You can go get lunch. Not until you get some lunch. So for now, give me a task. I might know she's losing, fighting a losing battle and finally gives in. She starts digging through her pink and blue sewing bag, finally producing an, a needle with much delight. I am so in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> It's the name of the game! <sighs> I love it when games do that. You said, hey, they said that they said the thing! <laughs> so in love with you. I. Did you just. I can't help but burst out into laughter, burying my face in my hands. I'm also shielding my face from a blush that Amani definitely doesn't need to see. Her words set my heart ablaze, but I know she's simply joking around with me. <laughs> Let's get to work. I push away my feelings and try to make myself useful. Amani and I work together like this until it's time to break for lunch, and then we do it again when we return. Today, I'm a bundle of nerves. No matter how much Imani has tried, to has tried to encourage me in the last few days, 
I find myself shaking at the thought of getting onto the, a stage in front of the people of Riverstone and all of Amani's fans. Yes, that's right. Today is the day of the Winter Dreams Cosplay Championships Finals. And it is being live streamed on the show's official social media accounts. I audibly gulp, holding my stomach. Brooke puts a reassuring hand on my shoulder and I lean into it. You'll do great. Besides, Kairu will be on stage right next to you, so don't worry. I look over at my brother, who seems not the least bit worried. Well, of course not. He wants to be a famous actor on stage one day. The attention, this is his dream. Why, why did the judges decide you guys need to make clothes for a model? I guess it's to prove that we can make clothes for people besides ourselves. Makes sense to me. Oh my gosh! An opportunity like this is amazing, and I've worked so hard for it. I want to be a world-famous fashion designer. Brooke throws her hands into the air enth energetically. Or enthusiastically, you know. Whatever English makes more sense to your brain that doesn't read well. <laughs> Not me. I can read. She twirls around dramatically and finishes it off with a wink in my direction. <laughs> Nova, you should be excited about this. You get to be a part of Amani's dream. What? I never thought of it like that. Amani's dream also lies here, at the end of this championship, and I get to be a part of it. Making clothes is mine and Amani's dream. That's what always brought us together, even today. So the fact that you get to share in this moment with her is amazing. Don't take that for granted. I'm happy to be here for her. I'm just scared that I'll mess it up. You mess a lot of things up, Nova. <laughs> Brotherly love. Gee, thanks for telling me that. It's super reassuring. Shut it. <laughs> Shut it. You didn't even let me finish, Big Mouth. He reaches over and ruffles my hair. You mess a lot of things up, but who doesn't? We're people, we make mistakes, but Amani knows that you're not doing it on purpose and that you have the best intentions of helping her succeed. So get out of your head, wear that costume, and steal the show from me. <laughs> oh, I love Kairo. I love him so much. He places his hand on, on his hips confidently. You haven't seen Brooke's design. It's pretty sick. Yeah! Yeah, well, Imani's makes me look like a total badass. That's the spirit! Channel that! Brooke pumps her fists into the air and I can't help but laugh. Her energy is contagious. The three of us shake out our worries and head inside of the community center to get changed. I meet Amani inside. She's poking at her design, doing some last minute adjustments. Hey. Hey, superstar. Amani looks up at me with a grin. Cute. That's you, Ms. Model. You're going to be dazzling the crowd up there. I'm gonna do my best. Hey, just follow my lead. I'll do all the explaining. Just stand there and look pretty, alright? It won't be too hard for you. I'll just wow the audience with my good looks and charms. It'll be an instant win. I just feel bad for the other competitors. There's no chance. They stand no chance against you. I want to see the whole costume. <laughs> it looks really cute. This playful banter continues as Amani helps me into my costume. The black school uniform with red shoulder plaid plaids blah, with red shoulder pads and gold embellishments is beautiful and I'm honest and I'm honestly that Amani was able to complete the design in just a week. Is there a word missing there and I'm honestly that Amani was able to complete the design in such a way. Honestly impressed maybe? I think there might be something missing there. Yeah, 
okay. <laughs> I'll just go with that. <laughs> this character's name is Utena, right? I ask as politely as I can manage as I do a slight twirl in the form-fitting bodice and flare skirt. I don't watch anime or play video games as much as Amani, so I'm embarrassed that I'm not familiar with who I'm dressed as. Yes, the prince, or the uh, princess, however you'd like to look at it. From revolutionary girl U Utena, a shoujo anime that has greatly impacted que queer media and manga today. I shut one eye as I recite what I learned online last night. I tried my best to at least remotely understand Amani's thought process. Okay, listen Google. While all that's true, especially the part about queer media, you gotta look at it a bit differently. Otana means a lot to me. I picked her because... Well... Amani looks away with a slight blush on her cheek. She's the girl that decides from the beginning that what she wants to do. She doesn't let anything, especially not gender norms, define her. When there's conflict, she smashes it. That's why I picked her for you to cosplay as. Oh, Tana reminds me a lot of you. Imani? I remind you of all that? My face heats up as she says this. Yes, you're a fighter, Nova. Thank you for fighting for me. Everyone else seems to want a piece of me for my fame, but they don't bother to get to know me. Not like you. <laughs> They're lost. The real Imani is amazing. Just look at this amazing design. I look so freaking cool. I'm sure the judges will love this. I don't care about that. Imani finds a seat on a nearby bench and pulls her legs up to her chest. Looking closely at her, I can see the dark circles under her eyes that not even her makeup can cover. She didn't get much sleep last night. You don't want to win? Winning would be nice, but if I lost, I wouldn't be too upset. Really? After all the effort you put into this costume? I did that because I actually have fun when I'm making clothes, believe it or not. Oh, I believe it. There's a fire in your eyes when you're talking about sewing and hems and all that stuff. I really love it. But... But... I won the better prize in the end. I got my old friend back, and I met someone who's very special to me. Thinking back on my time at Riverstone, not even a win could compare to these memories. Oh, We did have a lot of fun, didn't we? I recall all of our memories together. Our first awkward meeting on the staircase, the murder mystery dinner, working together on this costume. But I think what I loved most was... I think my favourite memory was when you told me you were so in love with me. I can feel the heat pulsing against my cheeks as the blush form, the blush forms. I'm feeling kind of bold knowing that after the competition, I might not see Amani again. Amani begins to laugh and tucks some of her wavy hair, hair behind her ear. I was wondering when you'd pick up on the hints I was dropping. I thought maybe I might have become attracted to you too quickly and scared you away. So, you were flirting with me the entire time! I really like you, Nova. You're not like anyone I've ever met before. You're super sweet and you have shown me that you care about how I feel and what I think. Plus, you're gorgeous to boot. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to flatter me! No flattery is involved. I'm just telling you the truth. Now, I thought long and hard about this before I even bothered mentioning it to you, so... So many things ran through my mind. All of them involving you picking Brooke over me. I've always wanted you and Brooke to be friends. And I saw that with how hard you tried to help us make... Uh, work things out. You are a great person, Nova, and I'd be so lucky if you kept in contact with me after this ends. I want to take you out on a real date. My lady. 
Oh, of course, my lady. I do a curtsy in the cosplay that Amani had sewn for me. She hops up from her seat and holds her hand out to me. I think preparations are done, so why don't we enjoy this moment together? I would so love to do that. I take her hand and Amani pulls me close to her. Is this going to be our thing now? She leads me awkwardly in the dance. She's trying and it's absolutely adorable. Yeah, sewing and dancing. I like it. The two of us dance like this, forgetting about our troubles. When they call our names, Amani smiles mischievously at me. Let's say we blow this popsicle stand. But your costume, the championship. I'm withdrawing from the competition. I only entered to spite Brooke because I had heard she qualified. I wanted to beat her, and then I realized that was the wrong thing to do. I kept at it because I liked hanging out with you, Nova. I wanted the excuse to see you more and show you the world I love so much. We were bonding and it was fun. I realized two things this past week. One, I love making costumes with my friends for fun. Without all the lights, cameras, and stress, that's what I want to do. And the other thing? I love spending time with you, Nova. Meeting you was the highlight of my trip. That's why I'd rather be out here spending time with Brooke as... Ha! <laughs> spending time together. We'll cheer Brooke on because this is her dream, but for us... Amani holds up her, f her phone and winks. Let's immortalize our time together, Nova. She stands by my side and holds the phone up towards me to take a selfie. I lean in to pose with her and as I do, she places a kiss on my lips. I'm startled for a moment and she snaps a picture. No fair! What? You wanted to be prepared? Amani winks at me as I reach for her phone. The two of us giggle together as we pretend to fight for it. This is where the two of us are meant to be. Uh, want to be, sorry. This is where the two of us want to be. Joking and laughing. The pressure of the competition melting away. In this moment, nothing else seems to matter but the blossoming romance between Amani and I. Hey, there we go. Oh. So that was really cute. I really, really love Legend X games. The games are always really sleep. And I liked seeing the, the characters from, from Marisol Bay come back as well. Cairo and Brooke. Oh, I want more Cairo. Cairo is so good. Oh. And really, just Eddie in general. Just cast Eddie in your games because he's amazing and should be in everything. Cause he's great. Okay. <laughs> so that was so in love. I guess we got the romance ending. <laughs> um, made in two months for Yuri Jam. And it was really cute, and I hope you liked it. Go and support Legend X Games. And more of her, get more of her games. Check out what else is coming. Um, I'll be playing more. If, I'll be I'll be playing more. I think uh, Snowdrop and Secrets Untold are what I've got planned next, but. I did a poll on my Twitter to see what BL game to do next, and it looks like Chess of Blades has won. So we will be doing the safe for work version of that. Because you can't not safe for work on YouTube, or they will ban you. So, stay tuned for that. I uh, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. All that good stuff. I'm babbling now. I will see you in the next video. 
Bye-bye.